Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Long time no see. Come on in. Gonna get you covered up. Hello, hello, yo. Where you been? <laughs> I see it's interrupting. Let's see if it works itself out. Hey, hey. We had an amazing trip. Thanks for asking. Still working. <laughs> All right. It looks like it's the interruptions are getting better. It's working itself out. Um, I tried to go from the Mebo again. It worked in the VIP group this morning, but it didn't work just now. So <laughs> it is what it is, right? So this is your candy corn sunflower kit. It is available on my website at monkeyscreations.com. Um, so you can go grab it there. Um, I do not know how many are left. Um, I didn't have a chance to check. So you can go grab it at monkeyscreations.com. Uh, so what do you get? You get the large flower board. You get your zip ties. Thanks for the stars, I appreciate it. You get your zip ties. You get the gorgeous yellow um, glittered center. Um, you get the orange fabric mesh and you get the white strip mesh um, to create our candy corn because y'all know that's my favorite candy. Hello, hello. So if y'all could hit that share button, float my boat, I would appreciate it. Um, we will go ahead and get started. Hello from Canada. Okay, so I pretty much got my board uh, set up. I left two. When I see it interrupt, I'll kind of pause y'all. Okay, so don't worry. You're not going to miss anything. I am watching it. So all you're going to do is flat end of the zip tie up to the ceiling, go down one hole and up the next. It's that simple, okay? Down one hole and up the next. Your favorite too, yay! Oh, I put them in the wrong way. Well, not really the wrong way, but y'all know I'm OCD, and it all has to go in the same way. Deanna, I miss your face, too. Okay. And for this one, we are just going to close these up. Okay. Um, so, the way I have this laid out is... Starting on, normally, y'all see me not use these, but to make our sunflower even bigger, we're going to use the outside holes, y'all. I know, right? Um, but that means we're going to have to load these a little bit different, okay? So, on row one and two are going to be our white three, four, and five are going to be orange because we all know the orange is the biggest part of the candy corn, right? And then our yellow glittered senna is going to go right in the middle, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So for the outside row, what you're going to do is you're going to take the, zip, the same zip tie, the flat end up to the ceiling. You're going to put it from the bottom of the board through that hole and just leave it, okay? I do have most of these folded, but I left one for every row. 
but y'all have seen me do this fold hundreds of times. So we're going to take our, I was looking for my zip tie gun. There it is. It's hiding. I am feeling better. Finally. <laughs> so serge edge, upper left, bottom right, scrunch corner to corner. Okay. First one goes down. Two, three, four, five, six. Goes down. Okay. Flip it. Kind of get them even. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to undo it so it looks just like that. Put it right on top of that board. Take your zip tie. And you can either zip tie it to the side of the board or you can flip it over and take that zip tie and put it right down in that hole. Okay, up to you how you want to finish off that zip tie. Okay, so now look how much bigger our flower is going to be. Okay, because we're not starting here, we're actually starting on the outside row. So for the whites, you're going to need 32 pieces if you choose to do it like I'm doing it. 32 pieces of white and 20 pieces of orange. Now, if you want, you can totally not even do this row, y'all. Okay? Totally up to you. But we're doing it. Okay, now I have the rest of this row already put together. So we're just going to throw them in, okay? Now I'm going to turn it and we'll do it all at the same time. I'll turn it over and um, we'll get these, all the zip ties to the back, okay? Now for here, I did take my wood burner and put an extra hole. You do not have to. You can just use the hole that's already there. Okay, so no biggie if you don't have anything to put a, um, a hole into your board. Okay, we will get all of these straightened out once we get those zip ties taken care of. Hello, hello. All of these are cut at 10 inches. I just load the zip, the, these zip ties as we go because they always seem to fall out on me. Oh, I meant to bring the blue centers in here because they are gorgeous, y'all. Did y'all see the new blue I have? Gorgeous. y'all been up to? I feel like I haven't seen y'all in forever. No, this is not the daisy petal. But 
it's getting, it's getting big already, y'all. I'm going to take some stuff out of our way. This is the large flower board. I know that blue looks awesome, huh? So we're adding approximately almost two inches to the size of the sunflower by using this outside row. I know, two in one day. <laughs> I need to take pictures. We made a, um, a candy corn um, witch hat in the VIP group this morning. Since I wasn't here Saturday to do my creative live, we did it today and caught up. Yeah, I will show the fold again when we finish this row. Hello from Kentucky. I know they look kind of wonky right now, but once I turn these over and cut off the zip ties and get everything put in place, it'll look just fine. I know, two in one day. If you're in the VIP group, it's your lucky day. <laughs> no, bubbly is carbonated. It's sparkling water, basically. I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Three more, y'all. Three more. These outside rows seem to take forever. I know. Because there's so many petals. This is, the white is strip. And the um, orange is fabric. Mesh. in the doctor's office. I hope everything's okay. Hello, hello. All right, last one. I can't start over from the beginning. <laughs> I know fabric is so easy to work with. All right, so let's turn it over and let's get, now if you are not using the very outside, you don't need to worry about all these zip ties, obviously, um, but we're going 
we're going big y'all so i'm bringing all those zip ties to the back and we're putting them right in the hole and then we will flip it back over and straighten out all of our petals I don't usually use these, but I wanted it big, y'all. It's candy corn. I'll post the picture of the witch hat that I did in the group earlier. So y'all can see what we do in the VIP group. Hey, hey. We have so much fun. We even um, did a uh, Dahlia all together for those that wanted to do it. Um, of course, I haven't finished mine. <laughs> yep, these are all 10 by 10. Hey, hey. You had to take care of some misinformation. Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> but isn't this cool? They just fit right inside those holes. Did y'all know that? <gasps> did you, did you? All right, then we can... Just cut these off. Oh, that one. Do the lime flavored ones? I've never tried the lime. Look, you don't mess with my candy corn. <laughs> Me and Monk just like the regular old bag of candy corn. <sighs> I'll leave it to Google. <laughs> All right, so let's flip it back over. And let's get all of our petals going the way we want them. Just be gentle with it. I did heat seal these, but that doesn't mean that it can't fray. Just be gentle. Okay, so I'm just bringing that petal over. Because that's how they're going to sit on that next row. Okay. So there is our outside row and our extra two inches, y'all. All right. So we're going to do another row of white. And then we're going to go to the orange. So I'll show you the petal again in white. You like oh the pumpkins are good too though. I ain't gonna lie, they're good. But don't be giving me all crazy flavors. Okay, so these are 10 by 10. Surged edge, upper left, bottom right, scrunch, corner to corner. 
okay? First one is always down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, if you're a counter. Okay, kind of lay them flat, line them up. How do we purchase the kit? It's monkeyscreations.com. That is my website. And then we're just coming in and putting them right in that zip tie. Oh, there's the center. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. And don't worry if you miss the petal fold. I have three more to do. I saved one for each row. Where can you get a heat sealer? I use a wood burner, um, but if you go to my tool section, my favorite tool section on my website, the um, Amazon links are all there. what I did with my uh, needle nose but it makes this part so much easier if you have some needle nose pliers It tastes like oh it's you think it tastes salty I think that the aha does have a little bit more flavor um, I usually just go with whichever ones on sale I am looking into a subscription for um, smoothies though because y'all I got to lose this weight I've got a head start getting sick I lost nine pounds but that's not a, a good way to lose weight, y'all. <laughs> So I'm just coming in from underneath and gently raising those to give it that little poof. Stop it, Lori. She ain't right, y'all. She ain't right. She gets me in so much trouble. So is there anybody here that's your first time watching? Give me a thumbs up if it's your first time seeing me live. Well, there's a couple of you. Well, welcome. I'm Michelle from Monkey's Creations, so if you have any questions, let me know. I do like the chit-chat, but I work at the same time, so you have to say hi to me, too. <laughs> well, welcome. Is it Lavinia? First time today? You didn't see me earlier, Deanna? You're fired. You're late, you're late. Hello. Oldie but goodie, that's right. It's your first time, Mary Jane? Awesome, well, welcome. Welcome, Carla. I'm excited we have a lot of newbies. So, who has never used the Unique in the Creek board? 
Give me a heart if you've never used a unique in the creek board. Oh, you were at the dentist? <laughs> okay, I'll forgive you. You're rehired. Oh, just one person. One, two, oh, three, four. All right. Well, I'm going to convince you to try these boards because they are so much fun. So we can pretty much do anything we can on the board that we can do a wire frame. You're an oldie, yes. So stick with me long enough and I'll, I'll show you how we can make big Texas size wreaths on these things as well. Or check out my YouTube channel. There's tons of videos there um, that uh, I've made using these boards. Um, this is the regular yellow. All right, so I'm just going through and clipping off all of the zip ties. This is a zip tie gun. If you are new to the boards, it is probably a must have. It will save your hands and you will thank me later. All right, so now we're going to go to the orange. The orange is the biggest part on the candy corn, okay? So we're doing one, two, three rows of the orange because it's going to be a little bit bigger than the white, correct? Who eats candy corn? Laughing emoji if you eat candy corn. And y'all can't be lying because I know more people like candy corn than don't. <laughs> you just don't want to admit it. Hello. <coughs> Get some of those clips out of our way, y'all. You missed the hutch. Oh, my God. I wanted to bring my hutch in here so bad. I just didn't have the room. I know y'all like some candy corn. <laughs> All right, so here comes our orange. Still 10 by 10. <laughs> y'all are cracking me up. Surge edge, upper left, bottom right. Scrunch, corner to corner. So one, two, three, four, five, six for all you counters. If you want to bring them side by side, you can. I like to bring one over the other just a little bit. <laughs> yes. Verna, stop. Diane, stop. Y'all know y'all like some candy corn. Quit. <laughs> and we're going to do the same thing right in to the zip tie. Look how per Oh, there's UPS. Right into that zip tie. Love you some corn. She likes some acorns, y'all. Don't let her, don't let her lie to you. Okay. Nope, not a fan. <laughs> but we just can't be friends if y'all don't like candy corn. Come on. How many of y'all are here from Louisiana? Let me know how you're doing. You got the zip tie gun and it doesn't work. What? Sheila, we can't be friends. Um, I will tell you, it's like eating wax. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I will tell you that you do, you may need to uh, change the um, tension. Um, usually mine sits between zero and one, and that gives me the best tension to pull it and cut it at the same time. Acorns. Um, so play with your tension if it's not working. Um, second, not all zip tie guns will tighten and cut. So make sure you've got the right zip tie gun that tightens and cuts it at the same time. Some only tighten it and don't cut it. Big payday. <laughs> I have to like payday. I don't know why. Oh, you're diabetic? Okay, well, you send me some candy corn, Dawn, and I'll eat it for you. Or Monkey will. Or we'll just fight over it. Because he likes it just as much as I do. My fingers just aren't working on some of these, y'all. We're not affected by Ida. We missed it by 40 miles. Well, that's good. You're so welcome, Allison. Daughter, love it. Don't judge me. We can't be friends, Lisa. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll still be friends. You're going to have to make it. Have fun. You know, a lot of people don't like scary, gory, typical Halloween. But this is a cute one. Or for, um, yes, there is a tension. Make sure you check that. Um, or for the nursing homes, you know, they may want something cute. Candy corn is your Halloween theme this year. <laughs> Every year for your birthday? Yeah. Well, usually, used to, I only bought like one bag a year. But with Monkey, because he likes them just as much as I do, I end up getting more than one bag, <laughs> y'all. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Thanks, Dawn. Right, our second row of orange going in. Okay, 10 by 10. Surge edge, upper left, bottom right, scrunch corner to corner. You just got here. And then, yes, three rows of orange. Because the orange is always a little bit bigger than the other colors. don't look like that little poof then just leave them flat as you put them in and it'll lay a little bit flatter but you know it's like it's like hair we like it big right like the 80s all right yep a wood burner you're going to get straighter lines for sure where do you get the best price for the the unique and the creek frames um, I have a link, an affiliate link that will save you 5%. Um, and then you, if you order, I think it's $120, you get free shipping. So um, that's awesome. Or you can go to Ranch House. Ranch House has the boards as well. Um, Amazon. But if you use my link, you save 5% off your boards. 
Well, that was only seven inches of rain with no, oh, that's good. Oh, look, Tina's on the ball. There's the affiliate link. So what you can do is copy and paste that affiliate link into the notes section of your phone. That way you'll always have it available when you want to order. Yeah, I think Ida is making it to Tennessee today. So I'll have to call Grandma and Mom a little later, make sure they're okay. And there's one that's gonna make it to the Gulf sometime next week. So we'll have to wait and see where that one goes. And five for the thicker. Yeah, every zip tie gun's a little bit different. Um, so it, it really just depends. Last one on this row. And have been afraid to fry. Oh, you've been afraid to try them. Oh, girl, they're so fun. So they have Unique in the Creek has tons of vinyls you can use, or you can use decoupage photos, um, cards, any kind of paper into the middle of them. It's here in Tennessee just getting rain. That's what I figured. I, I knew it was probably going to get there today. All right, we got four more orange and we're done, y'all. Okay, surge edge, upper left, bottom right, corner to corner. Six scrunches for you count us. <laughs> this is the large board. And you can get this kit from monkeyscreations.com. Now you will have enough orange left that if you want to do the shared holes and add extra petals, you'll certainly have enough to do it. What kind of cutta did you use? Um, give me just a second and I'll see if I have it in here and I'll show you. Remind me when I'm almost done because I'll, I'll forget. I ain't going to lie. You're a counter to I see. I know y'all secretly count. Most people just don't admit it. <laughs> Get here in 
in Connecticut Wednesday, but ooh, yeah, it's supposed to make its way all the way to to New York and then back out into the water, I believe, from what I heard. All right, so what I meant by adding, if you wanted to add more right here, just take another zip tie, go from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here, add four more petals, um, but you really don't need to. That's just if you want to use a little bit more mesh. Okay, so there is our basic flower, and here is the gorgeous yellow glitacena that comes with the kit. Um, it already has your pipe cleaner already on there, attached with a U-pen, so it is not going anywhere, y'all. So you just take the two holes right here in the middle, run your pipe cleaner, right through them snug it down in there okay tighten it up twist your pipe cleaner just like that you will cut the pipe cleaner down just a little bit, take it, put it right back in that hole, maybe, <laughs> okay, that way there is nothing sharp to scratch your customer's door. And there is your candy corn sunflower, y'all. Still drizzling a little bit. So using those outside holes, this wreath ends up being almost 29 inches y'all 29 inches so even bigger because we used this outside row that I don't typically use um, but I figured you got two rolls in the kit um, so we might as well use it if you don't want to use that outside row you do not have to um, and you can use your extra white and orange for another project because you definitely don't use it all. Um, if you only do one row of, of white, I would um, yeah, I would I would still just do the one row of white and have your orange still a little bit bigger, okay? So that is it and then right here at the top of the board you'll see two holes close together take another zip tie run it right through there maybe where's it going there it is Just like that, close it up, and that's what you can hang it from, okay? I'll make you want to spend money. <laughs> Yes, last year's version, I did not do the outside holes. So if you want to see what it looks like with less of the white, um, you can go to my YouTube channel and find last year's version of this. Um, 
the center was a little bit different. I think I just glittered, literally glittered. I don't even remember how many centers with regular glitter, y'all. So this year I made it easier on myself and did the rope glitter centers. <laughs> oh, the cutter. Let's see. Let me see if I can find it. I actually ordered. Oh, look! I just found my needle nose, y'all. Um, I actually ordered this cutter by accident. But it ends up being a godsend because sometimes the regular um, wire cutters just aren't cutting it when it comes to those um, pumpkin frames. Oh, here they are. So this is these are the regular wire cutters that you will typically see me use. Um, but for the pumpkin. These are the ones that I use. These are the ones I got by accident, um, but they've come in very handy, even for the floral wire um, that sometimes are really difficult to cut with your just your regular. Um, so these are, it's Tekton, T-E-K-T-O-N, and the number is 34053, um, and I got them on Amazon. But that's really the only thing on here. So I'm assuming it's Tekton, T E K T O N, 34053. And I'm not, sh I don't think I put these on my favorite tools because not really, not everybody needs these, um, but they come in handy. Yeah, Black Center would look really pretty. Oh, 10 snips? Yeah, those would work as well. All right, y'all. So if you want the kit, it is at monkeyscreations.com. Um, so I will take pictures of this and post it. And um, from our the VIP group today, the, uh, the candy corn witch hat um, that we made live. Um, thanks, Debbie. And did you use, I did use the wood burner to cut this mesh, yes. Um, I generally will always, on my sunflowers, use a wood burner. Um, because you literally see every cut piece on a sunflower. So, all right, y'all. I am out of here. So... I will see y'all. I'll probably see y'all tomorrow. I'll go live for a few days here in a row and, and kind of make up for me missing so much the last couple of weeks. Um, so you might get tired of seeing me after a while. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Um, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>